Okay, so I wanted to share with you um, the things that I use for mental fatigue. This is CLA, NGLA, NEPA, and DHA. These are all fatty acids that the doctors found that I was low on. So although this says take one a day, and I usually don't do anything crazy, I take three of these a day. And it was, the difference was night and day. The next day I woke up, I could think better and clearer. And I've had memory loss for a few years now, just slipping, oh, I forget your name, and I forget that where you're going, and I forget, you know, things like that. Um, where I parked, oh god. Um, lots of things. I forget lots of things, and this seriously worked wonders for me. Seriously. I highly recommend it. Um, GLA, CLA. But also, you know, get it checked. Get your amino acids and your fatty acids checked by the doctor, because most people don't do it, and uh, most doctors don't check for it, and it, it seems to be pretty related to fatigue, so get it done. Tell them, too bad. You want to be tested for it if they say no. Go somewhere else. <laughs> That's what I do. So, these really helped. The ones with choline. Unfortunately, Bayer stopped making the ones with choline. And phosphorus. And magnesium. Choline, phosphorus, and magnesium. They put in these. These older versions of the Flintstones. They replaced them with these gross tasting ones that don't do anything for me. So, um, I experimented with a few things. It seems that it's the phosphorus and the magnesium that works best. Um, and actually magnesium works very well for a lot of people with chronic fatigue. So if you could get your hands on some magnesium, and not all brands will work for you depending on you know, digestive issues, which is very common. Um, so I think what happened with these is that the fact that they're chewable, the magnesium hits me right away. Like, it clears up my thinking. It gives me energy. Only problem is, you gotta be careful with magnesium because you'll crash on it. And you're, if you're low on potassium, it could mess some other things up. It might, um, mess with your heart a little bit. Just don't go crazy with it. And, uh, chewing it actually really makes a difference. If this was only 30%, I would take two of them, so it's 15% each. Oh no, just kidding. 5% in one. So, I only had 10% of your daily recommended magnesium, and it made a world of difference when I chewed it. When you take it like that, not put it in your stomach, it's going to take a while. I had a lot of problems um, taking too much of it when I took a pill version because I didn't make that little amount. And then I uh, wake up the next day like numb. It was not, my fingers would be numb. And uh, it made me even more cold than I already am. So that was not fun and I don't think it was good. So if you could do magnesium, do it lower increments and possibly get it on your tongue somehow instead of a pill and having it all hit you at once, like just slowly throughout the day. Oh, um, these are fantastic for getting your magnesium up. The reason I take the zero is because I have a lot of issues with sugar. Once I eliminated sugar out of my diet, all sugar, talking fruits, talking anything that even remotely resembles sugar, it's, I have to get rid of it out of my diet because it makes me tired. In fact, I do all my candying at night, if you will, because it's an ongoing joke between me and my friends that will make me sleep. I eat it to knock me out. That's how much sugar affects me. So the vitamin zero has a lot of rando vitamins. I'm not really a big believer on the loading yourself up on B vitamins to make yourself feel better. Um, if that works for you, that's like fantastic because it's easy to get your hands on. They even have a, a patch for B12, I believe, one of the B vitamins. Um, that's pretty cool. But the B vitamin just kind of make me feel feel like alert, but not mentally there, and not 
physically there, so it was just kind of like this awkward, I can't sleep, I can't rest on this stuff feeling. Um, it just did it, it didn't open me up inside, it just kind of shined the outside, <laughs> if you will. So, um, this is a lot of magnesium, manganese, you know, niacin, uh, it just night and day for me. A lot of patients with chronic fatigue have POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachyardomy syndrome. It's with your heart, so um, you stand up, your heart beats fast, and then your blood pressure drops instead of increases. So you tend to pass out. Not everybody passes out. Some of us just get really, really tired <laughs> all day long because being vertical, actually, it moves the blood from your head down to your toes. So you get lightheaded, but it's hard to think. It's hard to do things you can't remember, and you just kind of want to, like, go horizontal. And you don't even know why. You're just like, oh, I just want to lay like this and type on the computer. And just want to pull my legs up. And what you're actually doing is getting more blood back to your heart and back to your head. So when you're upright, it's harder for your body to adjust that. And if you lay more horizontally, it's a lot easier. So I've been working through my chronic fatigue, you know, like actually at work, working. Um, not everybody can. I'm lucky that I cut sugar out early enough, napped through college, made my way through it, trucked on through it, and um, I'm allowed to slouch at my job. And if I wasn't, it would be a lot harder for me because sitting upright is very hard for people with chronic fatigue. Um, it's due to POTS, P-O-T-S. Uh, if you haven't been tested for that and you have chronic fatigue, again, see another doctor because it, it, it's in Wikipedia. I mean, you could Wikipedia chronic fatigue and the first thing they'll tell you to do is get a tilt table test. So if they haven't wikipedia it and it's 2014, um, see a new doctor because if you have chronic fatigue, you don't want to be wasting years of your life um, in bed when you could be at least managing your fatigue. So that's why the magnesium helps it helps with blood pressure and getting your blood flowing. Again, be careful with it because it will could make you numb like me. But it's sometimes it's worth it, you know, for a few hours just being awake, hanging out with family, it just sometimes it's worth it. So